Welcome back everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use what is, in my opinion, the most useful command in all of Minecraft, the execute command. Let's start by doing slash execute at, so this will be execute this command at all entities type equals chicken. So this will be running the command at every entity that has the type chicken, which are all these chickens you see in front of me. Run, so run this command, summon chicken. So whenever the game sees a chicken, which are all these chickens right in front of me, it'll run this command right here, summon chicken. And as you can see, the number of chickens has doubled, and my FPS has halved. <laughs> Let's say I don't like chickens very much, I'll do summon lightning bolt instead. Now this command is good at many other things aside from mass chicken murder. Start by giving yourself a repeating command block by doing slash give at player repeating repeating command block. Place your command block down. And let's do execute at, so run at, all entities type equals snowball. So at every snowball in the world, we'll be running, let's do summon TNT. Then three blocks above where the snowball is with a fuse of 30. This command will be in the description. Make sure you put it on a repeating command block with always active. Next, get yourself a snowball, and try it out by just throwing a snowball. It's already proving to be pretty useful, but what if the execute command could be used for even more than just constantly running the same command on something? Well, it can. What if you want to get yourself an arrow that, when you shoot the arrow, the arrow stays on the ground for a few seconds and then explodes? You can do this by getting yourself another command block and doing execute at all entities type equals arrow. And instead of doing a TNT command, we'll do run set block. Find the coordinates of the block I'm on right now, which will be 391-104-8520. Paste these in here. Redstone block. Set it to always active. So now whenever the game detects an arrow, It'll set that block with the redstone block. Then you can really use this, this chain that you'll be making here for anything. I'm going to be using it to summon TNT and then kill the arrow so that the chain stops. Right now, the game detects an arrow, summons a block there, sets a block there, and then a signal starts here. I'm going to put another command block on impulse and make it execute at all entities type equals arrow run summon TNT just with no fuse at all, just plain TNT. Let's get rid of that. Try it again. And it's ran the, ran the command. Now the arrow is still here. You can fix this pretty easily by doing another command block with kill all entities type equals arrow. I'll set this to repeat so that it runs continuous times in case somebody keeps shooting arrows after this is used. And then I'll also put a command block here, set block, the coordinates of the current redstone block air. So this will completely reset the chain. Or it should. Get some redstone on top of this so that both get triggered. And now shoot it. The arrow has disappeared and been killed in the block. Consider subscribing or checking out the channel page for more videos like this.